I really like working with my hands. And making pottery is, is a wonderful thing that happened to me. And I'd gone up to Louisiana Tech to study painting. I was going to be a painter. I was going to paint Louisiana. And um, I wandered into the pottery lab and took that pottery class. And Clay just sucked me in right then and there. It was something that was three-dimensional. You could walk around it, play with it, model it, do different things with it. So for the last 45 years, I've been working with Clay. I think it's the best job in the whole world. It really is. I love standing in front of the potter's wheel. I take that piece of clay. It's in my hands. I understand what the clay is. I know where to squeeze it, push it. Not too much water. Water's not clay's friend. It'll, it'll fall down in a second. And to take that vase and change it into a pitcher and put a handle on it. There's so many different ways to work with clay. My wife and I have been supporting ourselves in clay for 45 years. We've been all over the United States selling our stuff. We. I loaded my truck up and I'd drive up the East Coast and do arts festivals there. I'd end up in Key West, Florida doing festivals down there. We, we had shops everywhere from Hawaii and Alaska to Maine to Key West, Florida, all over the United States, purchasing what we made. So it was, it was wonderful. I just got up one Sunday morning and realized I didn't want to go to the shop to have to work. I wanted to go to the shop because I wanted to and I realized that to, to produce that much pottery that's the way it was. So I decided I would step back, change from having a large studio. We had probably 12 to 14 employees. We had a gift shop. We had three or four people in the gift shop. So we got. I decided to get small and get back to where I was, where I was comfortable, standing in front of that potter's wheel. And that's where I want to be right now. I want to be there. That's it. <laughs> I'll be out here. Uh, every chance that I get. <coughs> I was minding my own business, my studio one day, I mean, and uh, know, this young fellow comes in really and he is really wild. <laughs> he, he and his brother have decided that they're going to make some oysters. We test the slope. They were telling me about their, their little secret deal they had where they had a little pan in it and all the oyster juices went in and, and they built a better mousetrap. And in Louisiana, anything that you can make that has something to do with cooking or eating or entertaining, man, that, that's, that's what life's all about here. So uh, they got in touch with me and we worked on some design things. And we I talked to them about what I knew and they told me what they knew and we shared a whole bunch. And they had some looking really going, great ideas. You might have to put a little more butter in that one to get it to open. Oh, they yeah. said, you know, we really would like to have a special piece designed for those special people that collect your work, but also that have been very good to us. I did a series for them that they have on Kickstarter that's available to you. This is called a drape mold. Uh, consequently, there's no two alike. Every one of them, the fleur de lis sets a little different. And it, this might come over, that might come over, there might be a little flare on it. So the one that you get is gonna be very, very unique unto itself. And they're, they're just like people, they're all the same, but every one of them's different.